I'm David. I want to show you guys a pretty cool project I've been working on. What it is, is it's a ball that balances on a beam. But what's interesting about it is that the beam and the whole system, the plant, is actually made out of poster board, which is only a dollar at the store. And it's hot glued together. The main components of it are the Arduino Uno, a servo motor, and uh, some jumper wires and a potentiometer. So this is like $40 tops to make this whole thing. And I wrote the program and I'll be posting the program online or you guys can email me if you want a copy of it. Um, and it's pretty cool. I want to see people getting excited about the Arduino, you know, and all the Arduino has to offer because it's a pretty amazing piece of technology. Um, I guess here it goes. I'll show you. So here's the plant. As I was saying, it's a ball that balances on a beam, and it's inherently unstable. It's like an inverted pendulum, almost, like a Segway or something, because the ball wants to roll, and when it rolls, then it pushes the whole plant to one side, and that causes instability. Um, right here, there's a servo, and the servo is the actuator and there's a sensor um, it's an ultrasonic distance sensor it's really cheap costs only about five bucks online on Amazon and the ball and here's the microcontroller and the circuit it's a pretty simple circuit there's a potentiometer that's the blue thing right there and what that does is it actually changes the set point so I can set the ball to balance anywhere on the beam and let me start it up here So it takes a few seconds to get everything up and running, but it's worth it. So it's pulling up. It's moving towards the middle. And the thing with this $5 sensor is that there's a lot of noise in it. I've tried to digitally filter out a lot of it. Um, and it's gotten a lot better, but it's still not perfect. But let me show you this. So I could input a disturbance with my hand. And it'll settle back out in the center. can do it the other way. And um, let me show you this. When I twist this, the potentiometer right here, it actually resets where the ball is balancing at. So I'm going to twist it right now and show you guys. So you see it's moving a little more to the left. It's moving the set point closer to the sensor and balancing there. And then when I twist it the other way, it moves the set point further to the right and it balances over there and I can still input a disturbance and it'll still settle back out so hopefully this gets you guys excited about controlling things and gives you some ideas to use with Arduino um, let me know what you guys think and that's pretty much it.